Hey everybody. So today we're about to talk about attachments. And the thing about attachments is it's commonly seen as something that's bad or, you know, we shouldn't be attached to these things. But I want to challenge that and I want to say attachments is totally fine. The thing is the problems come when you're attached to the physical desire and you're not attached to the emotional equivalent of that desire. So the reason why anybody has any desire in the first place is because you associate an emotional feeling with having that desire. So you think that, uh, having a certain job, you think that it will make you happy. You think that, uh, getting your SP will make you feel loved. That is the problem. All right. You need to go ahead and feel love. You need to go ahead and feel happy without the job, without the SP, okay? Attach to the emotional desire. Go ahead and start feeling good. Go ahead and start celebrating because that's what's going to bring you the physical. And you don't want to try to feel good or try to feel happy just to get the physical. You genuinely need to feel better. You genuinely need to put your emotions above all of this other stuff. Okay, that you have going on outside of you. How you feel on the inside is what is so important. Okay, so attach to your emotional desire. If you want to feel love, you're not gonna, you're not gonna feel love if you're looking to be loved by someone else. The only way that you're gonna feel love is if you feel love on the inside through doing the things that you love. Some things that I could suggest that uh, creates love is like do some things like. Whatever makes you happy, dancing, drawing, get out of your phone, first of all, and out of your head. Anything that can take you out of your phone and out of your head is generally going to make you happy. So doing things, hobbies, reading, fishing, um, doing makeup, creating something, art, um, playing basketball, playing a sport, doing some things like that are going to... is. Uh, that's why exercising is really big too, like with mental health, because doing things that get you out of your head... And into your body and into the moment are always going to be things that are good for you and your emotional happiness. All right. Okay. So, yeah, like I was saying, the only thing, the only reason why you want the physical thing is because you associate it. You think that it will make you feel better emotionally. Okay. Looking, hoping and wishing and all of that stuff. Like it's a sure way to style your manifestation. Okay. And you only do that when you're attached to the physical and not attached to your emotions because if you're attached to the emotion it's nothing you're not looking outside of you for anything okay everything is already inside of you you feel like you already have it so there is no need for you to look for it because looking for it basically tells yourself that you don't have it okay and that you are needing this thing to be a better version of yourself are you needing this thing outside of you to be happy which is only gonna like it's like a domino effect you're always gonna be needing you're always gonna be searching if you don't find the happiness within yourself first it's no amount of money no amount of love outside of you or anything like that that's gonna be able to fulfill you if you don't fulfill yourself first you're always going to be looking, hoping, and wishing, okay? When you're desperate and needy for something that pushes it away, you are not attached. Being attached to your desire is not bad. You are attached to neediness. You're attached to desperation. You're attached to wanting. You're attached to hoping. You're attached to resistance, that is what makes it bad. That is what stalls your manifestations. That's that's what makes you feel bad. It honestly does not make you feel good to be attached to something, to feel needy, to feel desperate. Like that does not feel good. Okay. Stop placing so much importance on those things and place importance on your internal happiness. Place your happiness in your hands and your hands only stop allowing people to control your emotions because when people have too much control over your emotions that's why you don't feel like you trust yourself you can't trust yourself with your own emotions so how are you able to trust other people with them that's why you're spiraling that's why you're letting people make you feel some type of way about what they're doing and what they're not doing because your happiness or your emotional state is not in your hands. You're leaving it up to somebody else to make you feel a certain way or not make you feel a certain way. Happy, sad, whatever the case may be. You cannot put that in somebody else's hand, all right? You need to be happy without the thing. Whatever the physical desire that you have, no matter what it is, a car, a house, 
a person, a place, a thing, any any nouns that you desire, you need to be happy without it. Until you're happy without the thing, it'll never come and stay and stick. And it'll never be good how you want it to because you're going to continue to self-sabotage. You're going to continue to act from a place of desperation, from a place of neediness. And you're going to always push your manifestations away until you can get the point, y'all. You will literally go through these things again and again and again, time and time again, until you get the point, okay? And... You noticing that you're going through it again and again and again is also what creates it again and again and again. So if you're tired of going through something, simply stop noticing that you're going through it. Okay? Stop being aware that you are going through that. And make this time your last time. Okay? And and become unaware of the thing that you're aware of. That's, that's like stalling your manifestations or whatever the case may be. Like, obviously, you're not getting what it is that you want to get okay so yeah attached to the process if you fall in love with the process y'all like manifesting should be fun whatever you're manifesting should be fun you should be happy to see all the 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 great mirror reflections that you're getting made you should be happy to see that like it should not be frustrating if you're sitting up here frustrated mad angry sad and all these low vibrational emotions then you are not doing it right i'm here to tell you they say that like you're supposed to trust yourself and all of this. But I know you don't trust yourself when, you, when you're when you asking yourself, am I doing this right? And you know you're feeling bad. I understand that we're all humans and we have our days, but you cannot remain in that state. Feel your emotions. I'm not telling you to be a robot. Feel your emotions. If you are sad, ha happy, or mad or whatever, if it's a bad emotion, feel it. Let it out. Cry it out. Do what you got to do, but you don't need to stay in that state because obviously we don't want it to build up and like be repressed. But... You don't want to continue to have those thoughts and you don't want to continue to let it have you spiral. So don't, don't have those thoughts anymore and change them. And it'll feel so much better when you're not attached to resistance because that's all you're attached to. You think that, oh, I'm obsessed with it or I'm obsessed with my desire. You're not. If you were, you would not be attached to resistance, but you're attached to resistance. Okay. That is all that it is with attachment. Like People are like, oh, no, attachment is bad. Attachment is not good. You need to detach from your desires. You don't need to detach from your desires. It's perfectly fine to think about the person or think about the thing that you want, the place that you want to be, the city, the house. It's perfectly fine to think from them. I'm going to say it like that. Think from the place. It's fine to do that. But what's not fine is thinking about it constantly in a negative state repeating the old story, having the same thoughts and patterns, that is not okay. That is being attached to resistance. That's where a lot of people get it wrong. They're they're like, attachments is bad. No, attachments to resistance is bad. Attachments to being needy. Attachments to being desperate. Attachments to always looking, always checking the 3D. That is the negative attachment. The positive attachment is whenever the thought comes up, of the person, you could think about it in a good, loving way, and you could let it go. Just like any other thought. There's no spiraling. There's no negative feelings. There's no none of that coming up. It's just a natural, loving thought of the thing. And then it goes. And it's not you sitting up here thinking about it. It's just a thought. It's not thinking. It's just a thought um, <clears throat> about whatever the thing is. Oh, yeah. Be joyful, y'all, without the thing. You just need to let go of the physical thing. You need to let go of the physical thing. You need to detach from the physical thing and attach to your emotions, the emotional equivalent of having it. So how would you feel if you already had the thing? That's what you need to be attached to. And you need to be attached to thinking from the end, not thinking of. Not thinking of, but have thoughts of the end. Thoughts from the end, if that makes sense. All right? So... The only reason why you don't have the physical thing is because you're attached to resistance and you're attached to neediness and you're attached to needing it, but you're not attached in a good way, okay? And like I said, the only reason why you want the thing is because you want the the physical thing is because you want the emotional thing that you think it's going to give you, all right? When you're desperate and you're needy, you're not in the wish fulfilled. You need to be happy already have a life outside of the thing that you're trying to manifest 
How would it feel to already have the thing, all right? That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Focus on yourself. Build your confidence. Build your self-concept in all areas. And then focus on specifics. But build your general confidence. Build your general self-concept. And build your life. Like, do the things that you want to do. Stop waiting to live. To live. Go ahead and live now. And then, like, you'll get everything you want. For real, like, live now. Stop waiting until the things come. Like, oh, I'm going to wait till I lose this weight to do this. What? I'm going to wait till I lose weight to start my YouTube channel. Like, what do I look like? No, the journey. The process. The journey and the process is the literally most beautiful and fun part. When you get to the destination... It's not even that fun. Like, it's like, it's everything is always better imagined. Imagination is always better than reality. That's why people have, that's why fantasies, that's why fantasies are fantasies. That's why, because it's always better fantasized and it's always better imagined. So work hard, do the work, y'all. Work on your self-concept, work on your self-concept confidence work on living a life that's fun and fulfilling and joyful and happy and all of these high vibrational emotions work on a life that is like that versus focusing on oh my god it's not here yet oh my god i need this this thing to be happy oh my god if i don't get this i'm i'm gonna just sit in the bed all day and i'm gonna be depressed and i'm just gonna wait until it come to me and then i'm also gonna keep checking the 3d at the same time it does not work like that y'all stop being attached to things outside of yourself and attached to your emotional desires and your happiness, your self-concept, your self-confidence. Attached to all those things first and then your manifestations will come. You being needy, desperate, and attached to resistance is keeping your manifestations away. All right? I'm going to say it again. Believing is seeing. Seeing is not believing. I always say that. So you got to go ahead and feel it Believe it, know it, and then it'll come. All right? <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this video. See y'all in my next one.